Ooh, this is like class. No more games. I just wanna taste What's up, my name Andrew, and I'm going a while, and it's been a while. It's been a hot minute. How are you guys? It's been a while. April was a tough month, a really tough month. Um, I had my finals coming up. My finals is due this week, so I'm pretty much done anyway. Um, and then I had big progress to do, and then it was the NCT concert, which was amazing. Oh my god, that, ooh. Their concert here in New York was amazing. I missed them. It was a great experience. But that was just in the middle of everything. And I was like, you know what? I don't have time to do anything else. So I missed a lot of reactions. I missed TXT, AV6, New East, and Park Bomb. So I'm going to react to them today. If there's any other reactions that I need to react to, comment down below. All right, so I'm going to one-shot these videos because, again, I have my finals due this week and I honestly am trying my best to slack off. Like, I am procrastinating so much right now and it's not good, but you know what? You know what? Who cares? I honestly don't even care anymore. Alright, so let's start with TXT. So, background with my personal experience with TXT. Okay, um, I don't really stand them only because, like, I did like their first song, um, but it wasn't like, for me personally, it wasn't like, it didn't snatch me right away. I liked it. It was a good song, but also it didn't like get me into it. Um, but all my other friends who do stand TXT have been telling me to check out their album instead because they like the other songs more than the title, which is sometimes it happens. So I think Cat and Dog is one of the songs on there and hopefully I'll get into them. I don't know any of the members, so huh. I only know Yeonjun? I think his name is Yeonjun. He was the first boy to be announced in the teaser. And I saw that first, but then I was busy. I couldn't watch the other people's. But Yeonjun was adorable. Oh, I, oh wait, I do know, um, Subin? Subin. There's Subin, Yeonjun. Maybe I do know the names. There's a, there's a, there's a Jaehyun. <gasps> there's a... Bum you, I think. Oh, wait, it's coming back to me. Because I remember searching their names once. <laughs> so, what's the last member? There's five members, right? Kai? I feel like it's, it's a longer name. He's like half German, half Korean, I think. Kai. I don't, is it, I forgot his full name, but it's Kai somewhere, somewhere, Kai somewhere in there. So, let's start. Three, two, one. All right, let's see what this is. I'm ready. Oh wait, I guess I know their names, but I don't know who's who. Except for Yeonjun. I love cats, I really love this. Wait, this guy is Kai. I don't know who this is, sorry. Wait, so they want to be pets? That's, that's, that's Yeonjun. Ah, oh, he's so cute. He's so pretty. All of them are pretty. Him, him. He is honestly so handsome. There's a little auto-tune in here, right? Who is this? I want to say that's bum you, but I'm not sure. This is cute. Oh, it's like chill. Oh, this is cute. Who is... 
who's he? I want to say that that was Subin. Oh, wait, this set reminds me of Mic Drop. <laughs> Oh, we're at the beach now. I can't, but I can't take cat and dog seriously though, the lyrics. The sound is nice though. Oh, sorry, I like the cats more. <laughs> I like the pets more. Ooh. Pet food. This dance is cute. Ears, that's cute. Who? Someone's at the door. You boys better run. All right, so that was TXT's Cat and Dog. Right off the bat, I like it more than their debut song. I think Crown was their debut song. Crown, I didn't do a reaction to it, but I did watch it and it was, again, it was good. I just didn't get into it that much. It was more like, for, for Crown, it was just like, I thought it was too much like western music that I've heard it like every single other day on the radio so I'm like okay this is like this is good but like I've heard it before Cat and Dog is you know it's more of the K-pop vibe so I think that's why I like this a little more it's it's more chilled like it's softer it's a little less upbeat than Crown but I still really like it a lot um I didn't actually think that I'd get into them that fast, like I know that I will be able to stand them, but I didn't think it'll happen this soon. But at the moment, Young Jun is so adorable. Oh my god, I want to adopt him. But yeah, this is a great song. I might actually have to check out their uh, rest of the album because again, all my friends said that the other songs are better than the, than the than Crown. So we'll see what happens. All right, so next song goes AB6. Now AB6. Oh wait, wait, with TXT, they've been announced for KCON 2019 here in New York. New York, New York this time. Not Prudential, New York. AB6, I know it's a group with Daehui and Woojin because 101, oh, I miss 101. But they finally debuted in AB6, I saw you around to AB6, AB6, that's it, yeah. Um, I haven't seen anything. I haven't seen any teasers, any photos, nothing about this. Let's start. Three, two, one. That's Young Min and Dong Hyun. <gasps> That's the train. Oh my god. That's cute. Mix and match. Alright, I'm actually excited. This is the song they performed on Produce 101, isn't it? Oh my god, young men. What's happening? Wait, there's five members? Welcome to my Hollywood. It's been... Oh my god, it's been such a long time. Woojin, get your center! Okay, Ujin. Okay. Oh, I miss my boy. Young man. Come through main vocal. 
honestly, I honestly think that don't heal my bias. I don't know. Wait, who? Who? Is he a new member? I don't know who that is. The fact that Dave Weep, like, I think he produced a song too, back in like, beginning of Produce. It's been a long time. Oh my god, he came through. Oh my god. I love the black. Like, I'm not wearing black today, but my whole closet is black and I love these outfits. I want all these outfits. <laughs> Is. I don't remember. Is he new? Oh my god, Davey. Davey is so skinny. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Is he a mean vocal? Wow. I'll see at the end of the video. Whoa! Okay. Whoa! No one asked! Whoa! Welcome to my Hollywood. Hmm, there, that's their debut day, isn't it? Okay, right off the bat, is it just me or like, this seems a little... Not as hyped as I remember. Maybe because I have my volume low. But I remember when I first listened to this on like Produce and I was like up out of my seat. Like this was such a good bop. I think it's been a while. But like now that I see them as like five members. Speaking of which, I don't know who that last member is. Like I know there's Young Min and Dong Hyun with um, Mix and Match. And then of course Daehui, ugh, Daehui and Woo Jin. But I don't know who the last one is. I don't know what's going on. But I enjoyed it. Um, they are coming to KCON. Which is actually surprising because they haven't like debuted yet. And the fact that they're announced for KCON means like they're gonna be a monster rookie group. Just watch. But yeah, I enjoyed that. Um, excited for their debut and excited to see them live. Alright, so the next one is New East. Now, ooh, I am actually so excited for this because my man Min Hyun is finally back in New East from 101 and it's been such a long time. Like, ooh, 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 ooh. I'm so excited. Let's start. Three, two, one. Alright, whose hand? <gasps> Min Hyun in the center! That's a pot of time. He looks really good. Who? Me. Oh my god, Ren. What a beauty. He looks so good. Come through, JR. Ooh, hey on. Ooh, this is like class. Alright, give me the chorus. Wait, I... Hold on, hold on. Oh my god, Beko, go off! I 
I love it. I love it already. I love this. Oh my god, he's so pretty. Thank you. The chorus, wait. That chorus has so much like power in it and so much impact. Oh, that's nice. That's a nice one. This singer reminds me of, um, Overcome. With the snow. Yeah, that's what it reminds me of. Oh, look at the outfits. Oh my God. I want that. Oh, oh my God, you look good. Oh my god, oh my god, I'm getting so emotional. Oh, there's more? Is this part of the song? Wait! Oh my god, oh my god, I'm getting emotional. And they lived happily ever after. Oh my god. Stop. When I say come back, you say New East. This is what a comeback should be like. This is a good comeback. Like, I'm getting so emotional. Min Hyun is finally back after almost two years, one and a half years. They didn't have to put that scene in there. They really didn't have to, but they did. And I'm a mess. Like, it was not necessary. Like, I don't know why Pledis did that. I don't know why Nubis did that, but like, you just love making people cry, don't you? Song-wise, a good song. The chorus, like the build up to it was like, it was okay, the build up, but then the, when it hit the chorus, when Beko started singing, ooh, that was a good note. Like, I'm gonna say, New East has like one of the best, they're like the few groups that have the best choruses in their songs. I said it, I said it. Literally, their songs are so good. They honestly went through so much. And to see them, like for me personally, like being a fan of them since debut, to see them grow so much throughout these years from five, to four, back to five. It's it's an emotional ride, but it's something that I feel like really brought me as a fan together. Like, I just, New East has a special place in my heart. And for them to finally be back like this, I'm here for it, I'm always here for this. All right, so for the last one, I'll be reacting to my queen, Park Bomb. Now, okay, so, if you don't know who she is, if you're new to K-pop, Park Bomb is one of the queens of K-pop. She was in 21 and they disbanded and now she's a soloist. Well, she's always been a soloist, but now she's like solo, solo. But her first song, her first solo song um, after the disbandment, Spring. Oh, 
that is such an emotional uh that is such an emotional song like i listen to that song every single day even on a train like there was one time i was so close to crying i don't know why maybe it was a hard day but that song was amazing she's amazing and i'm so happy that she's still pursuing music because it's been a while since like before like um spring came out so i've missed her her debut was amazing and now this is her comeback featuring we in mama moo you just had to bring Mamu Moo in here because, you know, we love vocal queens together. All right, so I'm excited. Let's start. Three, two, one. Ooh, already the aesthetics. Is there lyrics? Oh, there is. Girl, don't cry. Ooh, wait, this is already an emotional song. adding a lot of snakes in her videos. I've noticed that. I love the blue in here, like for her boots to like this scene. Ooh, wow. Blue eyeshadow. And a blue sky. Wow, everything's blue in here. A lot of popping colors. Why are you crying? Ooh. Walk, you better walk, you better strut. Ooh, this is nice. What is happening? We in. The fact that We In is a fan of 21, and she, I think she used to sing their, or like do covers of their songs back in like middle school, that's what I read. And now that she's singing with the Park Bomb, when will I ever? She threw the mic. Ooh, I like this red. This has such cinematography. Ooh, wait, oh. Uh. Oh, how did those? Whoa! Don't cry. That's the high note. See, there was no high note in. Well, I need, I need to have like a long one in um spring, and that's what I needed. Four forty-four. The time I go to sleep in the morning, even if I have a morning class right after. Alright, so I'm gonna be honest with this. This is the type of song that I wouldn't listen to regularly, if that makes sense. Like, I feel like this is the type of song that has a specific mood. Again, maybe it's the title, but this is the type of song I would listen to at 4 in the morning. Like, this is so emotional. It has so much, like, soul in her voice that... It's one of those songs that you have to listen to at your 
most vulnerable times, I think, that if that makes sense. If you know what I mean, like, I just... I definitely like Spring a little more, but with this song, it's different because it's more chill, it's more emotional, it's more soft, and I just... It's... There's something different about this. But overall, I did enjoy it. I love Park Bomb. I love her voice. She just... My girl. Also, Wein's voice was amazing too, of course. Definitely Wein. Like, these two, they, like, their voices, I wouldn't say they're similar, but they have a good sound together. And that's what I really like about this. And even the cinematography, like, wow, who, like, filmed this? Who directed this? Because, give them a raise. Alright, so this has been a reaction to TXT, AB6, New East, and Park Bomb. Like and subscribe, follow me on Instagram, and I'll see you next time. Bye.